Hello, my name is Adam Bean, and today I would like to take a monolith, uh, so Quarkus microprofile application, and deploy it as AWS Lambda. And um, what I would like to compare is the um, stock AWS Lambda cold start performance, compare it with the snap start um, deployment uh, or performance. And um, what's the difference? What, what is snap start? So snap start is based on uh, crack. And Crack is Coordinated Restore Checkpoint. It's an open JDK project. And what this project does is able to save the state of a running JVM and restore it, restore it fast later. So perfect for serverless Java environments. And um, this, um, this Crack ships with two uh, listener methods um, implemented by resource. One is called after restore and before checkpoint. So in, uh, today, we won't use this method for further implementation, uh, implementation optimization. So usually what you could do is in before checkpoint, you can call um, AWS SDK to load all the classes uh, so they are optimized as well. So today, uh, we won't do this. Okay, um, now uh, the, I would like to use the um, AWS Quarkus Lambda CDK project, which I also used in past screencasts. It is a JAXRS microprofile Jakarta E application with a couple of dependencies, and uh, I would like also use Java to deploy it with uh, CDK. So uh, my AWS account should be empty, so there are no functions and also no logs. Um, okay, let's do this. Um, I would like to, or what I'm doing right now is I'm cloning the, uh, the uh, CDK project I showed you. So from my GitHub, I uh, call it uh, Snappy, and it opens um, Two IDs, um, one is the CDK, and I have to perform some changes here. So let's uh, switch to um, to the uh, source code, and uh, what you can see here, that I have uh, here some unused import, and the reason is, uh, so this template is able to deploy the Lambda as function URL stack, which we use today, so it is nice to experimentation. The problem is you get an ugly URL um, usually in production, we use HTTP API Gateway, which is the API Gateway stack or the uh, application load balancer stack. Okay, uh, so let's switch here. What I also would like to do is to rename the Lambda because um, it also will create a logwatch group with the name. So let's call it Snap Start or Snappy, it could be also nice. And then I also have to perform a change inside the CDK. I have to switch for ARM, which is usually my default to, uh, to Intel. And uh, because Snapstart currently is only available on in, uh, Intel architectures. Okay, this uh, basically it. Um, now switch to the uh, Lambda source code. It's just a uh, yeah, stock microprofile application with some injection. So the Grita is injected and the Grita gets injected config properties. Hello Quarkus on AWS, let's say with Snapstart or not. So uh, I plan to deploy both. So we change that. And uh, what I like to do as well is to remove the JSON logging because I think we don't need it today and without JSON logging, it is uh, nicer too. Do we have it? Yeah, yeah. Um, to spot the uh, durations. So, okay, we are done and now I'm ready to deploy the Lambda. And uh, so this is go to Snappy and um, there is a build and deploy script. Don't ask, and what it basically does is just it performs Maven twice and then calls CDK deploy, that's, that's, that's all. So, um, so let's call it, and usually it takes two minutes, so 100 seconds, 80 seconds, uh, depends on the day uh, to deploy a Lambda. So let's wait and see.
Okay, it took 80 seconds to deploy. So, um, and I got the URI, the function URL URI. And uh, what I like to do is just to call it and measure time. And I have to use the hello endpoint. So this is the very first cold start. So uh, it was never called before. So it is the very cold cold start. So it took three and a half seconds roughly. And all subsequent calls are faster. So uh, what we could try is just to get rid of the T. So we get the proper curl and we see hello Quarkus as AWS Lambda. So um, interestingly, there was no change in the message. And what I forgot, um, I'm overriding this with uh, the Lambda environment. Um, so um, maybe we can fix it in the console. Okay, now, um, so this was the cold start. Let's take a look. Um, so let's take a look at the console. And uh, where is it? So I have to switch to the console. Okay, this is the uh, log group and we have the snap start log group and there is the uh, stream. And uh, we see that the Quarkus was booted. So this is the Quarkus boot sign. And we see that the very first, let me make it a little bit larger. We see that the uh, very first, uh, yeah, the duration took uh, two seconds and uh, we were built for 500 milliseconds. So this was the entire, this was the first call start. Um, this is the latest version and all subsequent durations were significantly faster. So nine milliseconds, five milliseconds, four milliseconds. This is um, the warm Lambda execution. So now uh, let's uh, snap start the Lambda. So how to do that? So we have to switch to uh, the Lambda and uh, should, be, oh, it's, it's there. And then we have to activate the snap start first. So, and this is no snap start. So let's change it to uh, published versions and uh, save it. And maybe we can fix now the uh, environment variables. You see Quarkus on AWS Lambda. So change it to on AWS Lambda with snap start. Okay, it's enough. Save. Okay, uh, what I would like to do is to um, publish a version. And this is the version uh, snappy. Okay, and almost done, but I would like to call the Lambda. And in order to call it, I need, um, I need, wait a sec, I need an alias. So I'm now in the version one here and uh, I have to create an alias and also call it snap or snappy, it doesn't really matter. Save. So now I have to snap and now I can create a function URL. So what I, what I plan to do is I have the first function, U, fu function URL, the first the URI, which points to the uh, usual Lambda version. And now I would like to have a new URI, which points to the optimized Lambda version. So, okay, so I will do it here by hand without CDK, function URL, uh, create function URL, so it should be publicly available. Uh, here it is, safe, and this is the URI of my Lambda. So uh, now I have to to uh, to wait a little bit until the Lambda becomes available. So if I call it right now, I will get, uh, I think, 504 because the Lambda is not ready. So what happens behind the scenes? The Lambda is, uh, is, is started, is initialized, and, uh, is, and then it is going to be stored to create the image. What we can do, we can switch to uh, CloudWatch, switch to the group, and uh, here, and we see here at um, the recent log stream. So go here to the stream, and we see here, this was the init report, the init duration was three seconds. So what we see right now, that the uh, crack started Quarkus, and the entire optimization took three seconds. Okay, so maybe it is ready already, so try this, call curl t and uh, with hello. What you can see is that the URI is different to this one and try it. And uh, I think we got 200. So it was uh, the proper cold start. It took 1.7 seconds right now. So do it again. Uh, so now it's significantly faster. And then I'm, I would like to see the output. And we see with snap start, so we see the environment, uh, the configured Lambda change. Okay, now just take a look at the uh, at the logs again. So I'm in the log group, go to the Lambda snap start, reload it, 
and uh, see what happened here. And we see here that the lambda was restored in 318 milliseconds. And, um, and we see that the build dur duration was 700 milliseconds of the first restore, and all subsequent calls are faster. So um, this is the impact on snap start on cold start. So um, it is significantly faster, the cold start, and uh, it makes uh, Lambda snap start even more interesting for shipping monolithic microservices, pragmatic, uh, productive monolith to production.